Laura is the definition of a true SAG. She has so many outside friends as you saw at our senior game. Mm -hmm. there, the whole student section was just for her. And <laughs> yeah. when we looked over at all these Laura signs and that's so nice to see, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, just to see that whole community. And when she goes in every time, or if there's two minutes left, the whole crowd's cheering for her to go in. First of all, she, is so smart and is like um, juggling. She sits there and juggles like school and traveling and she's worked from being just a manager freshman year all the way to getting to be on the team and like everyone loves her and is cheering for her and so I admire that like you can see her work ethic and that she's very I think like humble and patient. That was always the dream, <laughs> the dream to play Gonzaga basketball and remember my parents used to let me stay up uh, late on Monday nights and watch the 9 p.m. guys games and uh, so it was always the dream and when I came here I wanted to walk on and didn't get that opportunity right away and tried out a couple times and didn't make it but getting the chance to play here my junior and senior year it's just it's honestly been a dream come true as corny as that sounds it's honestly it's been everything that's lived up to be all the fans and the atmosphere and being on this team it's really incredible. Laura has some uh, sarcasm in her a little yes. bit, okay? Kind of surprising, you warm up to her a little bit, and you know, I used to think, here's this you know shy girl my freshman year that's sitting next to me, hanging out with me on the bench, and um, you know, after a while, she started warming up, and it was like, all of a sudden, I get these little remarks that are like Who sarcastic, are and I'm like, okay, Laura. Talk about someone that really has lived up their experience here at Gonzaga, uh, just, you, you look at the stands and you have all these people yelling, Laura, Laura, and I, uh, I think that's so neat that she's built relationships with people here and um, we'll leave this school with so many memories. Uh, I just want to thank the fans. You guys have been amazing. You've really made this experience what it is. Uh, all this really wouldn't, Gonzaga basketball wouldn't be what it is without you guys. I want to thank the coaches for all the opportunities that you've given me, especially Lisa. You've known me from the start, known me as a manager now now as a player and I wouldn't be the person I am today without you guys and especially Lisa you really look, look to coach people not just players and I'm really thankful for that and all the mentorship and leadership you've given us. I also want to thank my teammates uh, you guys have been awesome you've welcomed me uh, welcomed me into your family built relationships with you guys that I know are going to last a lifetime and I'm so thankful for that and you've really made this experience what it is. She could be in Thailand traveling the world. She could be here playing basketball. She could be here diving with sharks. Like she's so unpredictable and she loves spontaneous Mondays. That's like her thing is just to on a Monday do something spontaneous, do something you would probably never do. I could totally see her that like come back That's with dreads and beads and just like, I think she's just gonna go like have chill. her own elephant. Somewhere in the world. She would do something like that. Yeah. You never know it, sure. You never know. I don't even know where I'm going to be in the next 10 minutes, so uh, we'll see where I am in 10 years. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll send you, send you an email or something. If she does get in trouble, like for defense or whatever, missing a shot or something, she always kind of like, yep. Here we go. Like she'll suck her teeth and just like, ah, and clap. Uh, a big part of why I transferred was just kind of lost my love for basketball and really Gonzaga has helped me find that that love again for the game and the game's always meant a lot to me so uh, to be here and uh, feel that again has been pretty special. The, the way that she competes with everybody it's like she said it's not the yelling but it's the eyeball nope like even if it's clearly <laughs> off the shack it's her it. ball she'll anything kick it out of bounds and be like oh yeah that's off shack and i'm <laughs> like, like it's seriously her ball, no matter what <laughs> sherbs thanks for letting me rebound for you let me be your shooting buddy uh hanging out with me and just thank you for your bringing life to this team and just always being solid and being that calming force and that reasonable voice sophomores juniors freshies red shirts uh, just just soak this experience in, just take it all in because it goes by so fast and I'm sure you guys already all already realize that. I always say <laughs> craziness in the kennel. I mean it is crazy in here and um, <clears throat> it is. You just walk in and you get goosebumps. You know my very first game as a red shirt got goosebumps until my very last game you know as a senior here so uh, it is it is something special and I you know I wish I could tell my 17 year old self you should you should go to Gonzaga to be a part of something that great but I mean everything works out the way it's supposed to 
Energizer bunny. Kiani. Passionate. I would probably say... Yeah, Kiara probably with the Energizer one. Maybe um, just like vibrant. My favorite memory, there's just so many. I'd say every single time we cut down nets is my favorite memory uh, here or um, back in New Orleans. Um, those are great memories. Going to the Sweet 16. And every time we step into the locker room with my girls is you kind of learn when you're a senior to just embrace that time and embrace those moments because you know that you're not going to get them um, anywhere else. Last year in Vegas, WCC tournament, she wasn't playing very well and Keanu's the type of person who just so badly wants to play well and not not for herself necessarily but she just wants to contribute to the team and so she just she couldn't she wasn't hitting her shots and then she came out the next game and I think we put we're playing San Francisco and she was on a rampage what I admire about Keanu is just like her free spirit like she just does whatever she feels like she wants to do and she just enjoys all her time I feel like, don't you think? Like she's, she's just crazy. She's and has been fun crazy and like, lately. Like I just does what she wants. And she's not concerned, like you know, what anybody else thinks of her. She's yeah, she literally just, just living. Like does what makes her happy, and she's really like doing what she wants this last year, and I like that. And I really enjoy that. I think it all began with her energy. She came in, and she's always been a really confident player, and she brings it every single day. She works hard, and she puts in a lot of hours in the gym when nobody's around. So. She's definitely been that player that you can look to. If you just want to get some shots up, you can definitely ask Keani, and she brings energy to practice, to the games. That's just who she is. Being a Zag definitely hits home, and it's definitely going to be hard to let go. Gonzaga fans, this place is special because of you, because of your support, because of your huge hearts. Uh, you guys make the kennel a special place, an amazing place to play. Bad for teams that want to come in here um, and try to... It's, it's a weird experience, but it's amazing. There's no other place like it. Sunny's definitely somebody that I look up to. I've had to play against her since I've been here, so um, I've learned a lot from her. Um, probably the most impressive thing of her is how humble she is. Mm -hmm. She, um, it's never all about her, it's about the team. Whenever I talk to her, media I know, it's always the team did this. I feel like socially, just like the, everyone at Gonzaga is so trying to help you and like kind to you. And um, this, when you experience that, you have the urge to like give something back. And whether it is just like to your friends or the people that you know or just like in general um, people that you meet and make new friends with just like the kindness um, that you experience here from the people and um, definitely like more self-confidence and academic and like athletic. Sunny would always raise her hand when she would foul <laughs> and it would drive all of us nuts because obviously she was a very fundamental part of what our program was trying to achieve so she'd like foul and then bam up with the hand and we all were like Stop, stop. And there are even times when I'd be like, nope, that was on me. And the ref was kind of confused. And she's like, no, it's on me. I'm like, Sunny, I know you're a really nice German girl, but here I'm going to lie for you because we need you to stay in the game. But it was so cute. Her hand would always just shoot up. She just brings consistency and you can see it in her games as well. She's always been someone we go to um, if we need a bucket. We're all very confident in her abilities as a player. Before we went to the Sweet 16 into Rhode Island, we had the game here. Um, I guess Miami, I think. Yeah, and sold out kennel, super loud. My parents were here for that game. I know, I remember where they were sitting. They were sitting up there. And I think the whole game, the people were standing. They didn't sit down. And it was so loud. And for someone that, that was my freshman year, and I just like played in Germany before, but like maybe 800 people, the most, that came to a game. Um, and then to experience that was memorable. Um, yeah, just Zach fans, you're, truly the best fans in the world. Um, like I said, knowing that you'll always be here um, no matter what happens to the team, if we lose or win, that you support us. It's an incredible feeling and I want to thank you so much for the four years and um, that I've played here, but for all the years that you supported the Zacks. 
The Gonzaga Bulldogs with a huge upset, 76-64, defeating three-seed Oregon State on their home court.